Hello everyone, and welcome to our actually successful attempt to build a classic-style siege ladder. If you did watch last video about me failing to make the ladder, you know that the attempt to make it out of regular trees was extremely unsuccessful. And this is just me breaking down and going out to Home Depot and buying some lumber. I'm going to attempt to use it with classical methods, i.e. using hammers and hand saws instead of using things like power saws, sawzalls, and screw guns. So at least I have some of the spirit of actually trying to do this like our ancestors did. So right now, I'm just laying out the main planks of the ladder. I'm using a square here with a sharpie. I got the length of my target, which will be the side of my house, just 13 feet. And so, got that laid out. It's nice to use a square for that, so you get a nice straight cut. No matter how good your eyeballs are, your cut's going to be crooked if you do it just by eyeballing it. So, just going to speed through that sawing there. Boom. Got our planks. Now, we got to make our steps. Right, the first thing to do is to make sure it's level. Best way to do that is what I'm doing right now, using a board and making sure both sides are even. I would actually fail at doing this several times while attempting to build this ladder. I didn't have the clamps that I needed. My regular C clamps were not big enough to get around the saw horses. I didn't need carpenter clamps. I didn't have any. Uh, my dad had them in his truck and he was at work when I was attempting to make this. So I was doing it just by the materials I had in the back of my truck. I'm really just, I'm going to go through this once because I don't feel like you guys want to sit here and watch me cut all these things. So I'm just going to do all the steps I have to do. I'm going to show you them here now and then just skip all the other ones and just get straight into assembly. Because I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me cut like 10, 16 inch long 2x4 sections. So right here I'm double checking my measurement. I got my measurement for my 2x4 chunk. I'm going to mark it out. Hit it with the square and saw it. The traditional chicken ladder, which is the name of the ladder I'm actually building right now, it does foot planks, but I decided because I was wearing boots and I wouldn't have the greatest mobility to make it a little bit wider. It's a bit of a minor carpentry mistake if you want to look at it that way. Trust me, I'm going to make several far more significant ones moving forward here. So we get our little piece of wood here, nice and cut, and I just skipped ahead after I rinse and repeated for all the other steps here. So I've got all my blocks. I'm going to lay that out a foot from the ground. Well, I'm going to drop some of them on the ground, but I attempted to lay them all out just to make sure I had enough cut. I could have measured and done the math, but you know that's boring. I don't like math, I like history. So here what I'm doing is I'm measuring my instep to see how high I need to make it. And I made my first major mistake. I measured the length of my stride, which was 16 inches. And I decided to make the first step 16 inches above the next one. Not thinking that that would be hyperextending to get up to the top of it. So I forgot to add the extra 4 inches of the 2x4. And as with all things in construction, especially if you don't notice your mistakes, they just keep amplifying as you go up. So by the time I got to the top of the ladder, I was really hyperextended. And you'll get to see that in action as I deploy the ladder. But on the ground here, I really didn't think anything of it. So get my little nails here, just standard galvanized nails. Two and seven eighths, I believe. If you're making a regular chicken ladder just for construction, most people use screws because they're easier and they got a better hold, but like I said, I wanted to try to be at least somewhat authentic considering I skipped the whole tree cutting down and logging routine. Here I'm just getting my nail started a little bit. Get them hammered in. First couple, make sure I'm not over spacing my thing. This is where a clamp would have come in handy. I could have clamped it right to the horses and it wouldn't move. But, like I said, had to make do here. 
Ah. Fuck you, board. You didn't see the four times that I failed to try to get that board nailed in. That's where all that anger came from. I got a so I'm going to get my first measurement for the next step, which, as I said, it was too high, but like I said, didn't know that at the time. And then I'm going to use the board to get my general width. Oh, wait. Nope. Well, I guess I do have to lay it out. Alright, we're looking good on distance. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to the other end of the ladder just to make sure it doesn't get uneven on me. See, I get the top and the bottom board done first and then I can work my way into the middle without worrying about getting out of level. I know some of you guys at home right now are very nervous for my thumbs. I was holding it very close. Like I said, didn't have a clamp, had no choice, and I have at least a halfway decent hammer accuracy. And I'm just occasionally lucky. So here we're just going to speed through the hammering scene here. Nice little hammering montage of just to show you guys I did it and I didn't cheat and use a nail gun. Which I was tempted to do, but you know, I decided to stick to my guns or stick to my hammer as it were in this scenario. And speed here through. I like the way that this sounds when it's all sped up. It sounds like almost like a woodpecker. Which is weird because I generally don't like woodpeckers. I had very bad experiences of them in the past. Don't ask, it's a long story. Prepare to be interrupted, boys and girls. Ten bucks says he makes fun of my carpentry. It's my dad, by the way. He's the actual carpenter in the family. Repair my shield from last time where it broke on the charge of the bell guy after I tripped and fell on that one pile of brush. I didn't feel like finding small screws that wouldn't punch through the wood, so I just used my nails. Pretty, but it works. Really could have used a carpenter clamp, but I don't have one of those. Kept it took me forever to get the first one on because every time I would hit it, it would knock the block the I wrong way. Some screws. That's, that's the easy way out. Mm, it holds better when you climb up it; they don't fall out. Huh. What size nails did you use? Mm, two and seven eighths, I think. Right? Yeah, two and seven eighths. It's enough it gets into the second board without puncturing through to the other side. The other ones, the three and a halfs were too big, I thought. So what's the other two by for? I thought I was going to need more wood than I actually did. I don't know, I was considering putting bracing in here. of lilac bushes. Oh, yeah. All right. 
Maybe a spear wasn't the best idea here. Well, it's not going well. Just be filled with arrows right now. I don't have my shield up at all. There's dozens of arrows. Whole bundles. You mean these steps a little bit too big? I did it. The ladder was a little shaky. Definitely should have built the support. Yay! Hmm. Should probably get off the roof before the neighbors call the police. All right. My shield didn't break either. Definitely made these steps way too big. Operator, there's a man on the roof of the Eckert's house with a spear. Send a SWAT team. Alright, I definitely would be dead had people actually been shooting arrows at me. Figured while we're here, give you guys a little treat. Go to the first official War and Conquest spear throw. The new spear. I just need something to throw it at. It doesn't damage it. I don't want to. Well, actually, I do. <laughs> Let's just take the the valuable deer target out of the way. We'll use the shitty ones. All right, here we go. Can I get the, the balance? Huh, well, I missed. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm getting closer. Jeez. Oh. That sucker is no joke. Oh. Alright. Third time's the charm. You got this, Neil. Focus. There we go. Fucking bullseye. That's, that's beautiful. Hold on. We're gonna get a Snapchat of that. Whew. <clears throat> now we're getting that spear back. <laughs> Might need to maybe a two-hander. Nasty. 